Hello everyone and welcome to Pyanodon's Mods. This is Otaku Showboat joined by Dolly behind my head today. With the release of Pi Alternative Energy has come a whole host of updates to the rest of the Pi Suite. So today we are going to talk about changes made to Pi Alien Life. This is going to be a broad overview of some of the things that are fundamentally different in Pi Alien Life now compared to before the release of Pi Alternative Energy. So, with specifically creatures, we're gonna we're gonna start with uh, just the basics. What what's the same at the very basic level? At the very basic level, your creatures are modules that go into a building that raises said creature. That's 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 alien life. That's Pi alien life. That's how creatures behave. That's that's their mechanic for all of Pi alien life. You get your modules, your first versions of the creatures through rather expensive recipes that are designed to be that way that will involve either a botanical nursery for plants and fungi or a creature chamber for everything else. You will need to make codexes, codices, that are unique for each creature in the game. You will need DNA samples that will use said codices as well as science uh, and maybe in some cases it doesn't need it in some cases it does some generic earth DNA samples which need science and chests and bio samples you will need all of these things plus more in order to make the first version of a creature once you have made the first version of a creature, you have to then breed it. You have to then breed it, make more of it, make it, make it proliferate, multiply. And through the power of mathematics and exponential growth, you will eventually have as many modules as you need for the entire game. However, What's changed is specifically for the like mammals, reptilians, etc., and some of the some of the water-based life, the quote-unquote more advanced creatures that exist in the game. We're talking the stuff that goes a bit beyond plants and fungi, essentially everything else, and something, and as well as a bit above, and including the insects and crustaceans and other sea-based life. The vast majority of the alien life has been updated now to be reflective of multiple life phases. Now, previously, before this update, cubs were a thing, uh, as were eggs. Eggs were a thing. And raising eggs were a thing. And raising cubs were a thing. Uh, but they happened later in the game. They were upgrades and enhancements to your overall output. Uh, and it came at a cost of fetal serum, uh, which meant needing a whole bunch of silver to support that. And they were some pretty, really, really efficient systems. Now, the concept of cubs and larva and egg raising has become an integral part from the very beginning. So now, in order to make more augs, you will always need aug pups. And so this process starts off not with the paddocks, the creature paddocks, but with this new building called the Reproductive Complex, which is massive and has some interesting music. They 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 uh they they go to smooth jazz. 
uh, in the reproductive complex. This has its own set of recipes that take adults and make children. Every, all the numbers here are subject to change, but in general, you will get some adults back. This isn't the case for everything. And there is a lot of variance. Sometimes you will lose your adults in this process to get your children or your larva or your eggs, whatever have you, whatever the initial stage is for the creature, you will get that out here from the reproductive complex. Then you take your lower, younger phase of creature and use that in the actual creature's paddock, which uses the creature as modules. You need to have the modules for this to operate. Same in here with the reproductive complex. The modules will change based off of what you are in fact breeding. In here, you raise your adults and that will be your cycle going forward. That is your new like gameplay loop as it were for all most all creatures. So it's like that with augs. You get aug pups, you raise aug pups to into adult augs, you use adult augs and make whatever you need to make out of them. Because in this case, your adults are always returned in the breeding process for augs. And the same applies to Ulrich, if I can find Ulrich down here. Ulrich start out as cubs. You make the cubs out of Ulrich. You get the Ulrich cubs. You raise the cubs in the corrals. And it's like that across the board. For eggs with Vrauk, you get your Vrauk back, your adult Vrauk back, when making the eggs. And from the eggs, you can hatch them in Vrauk paddocks into adult Vrauk when you need adult Vrauk, such as for when you need to make formic acid you can uh you can make your eggs hatch your eggs and then slaughter the output to get formic acid this is this is how pi alien life has been designed moving forward so how does one then increase your outputs because another new thing is that you only can slaughter in a using a set of recipes for each creature that outputs all a whole bunch of slaughter products. You you have to do full rendering now for all of your creatures. What happened to rendering for individual outputs? like we had before. Well, that has been also changed and modified, and it's been modified in a pretty good way, honestly. Uh, so now, if I bring up Helmod to show this, now what we have is a set of upgrade recipes where you will be allowed to slaughter into an individual output from those upgrade recipes. And this will require a little bit of scrolling it down uh, to here. So now upgrading using BMPs, the anti-tumors, etc. BMP, anti-tumor, recombinant, erythropoietin. These upgrades now allow you to not only get an increased output of a given product, but you can get exclusively that product and you won't have to deal with any of the other outputs from the system. Which is great because that allows you to then figure out, well, who gives you the most blood? Which which creature will give you the most blood when it is upgraded? And we'll look at regular blood rather than at the uh, arthropod blood. We can see here that uh, the upgraded Ulrich give 200 blood per upgraded Ulrich, so do Augs, but Mukmo give 250. Mukmo give 250. 
So we have to keep in mind, oh hey, Mukmo, they give 250 blood as upgraded creatures. Do any others exceed that or meet that? Well, it looks like the answer is no. Nothing else meets or exceeds that. So as it turns out, Mukmo are now the best blood output for any individual creature in the game. We, generally speaking, should know also that this doesn't come from nowhere. The, in fact, the full rendering process should be the one that gives the most blood out of all of the available options for blood. So uh, we can we can see that here as I scroll through this list of the stuff that gives regular blood rather than arthropod blood or simics for simic blood. We can see that Mukmo give 130 per Mukmo. Hey, great. But uh, you do have to think about, okay, well, what does it cost to make Mukmo versus what does it cost to make something else, something cheaper that has lower output, like the AUG. It's a difference of 50 units, but is it cheaper to just make an AUG versus making a Mukmo overall uh, at the phases of the game that you're currently at? These are questions you have to ask yourself and answer yourself. So now with those upgrades later, A, we're, we're actually now encouraged to use those different upgrade products like anti-tumor and BMPs where previously you actually could completely skip the vast majority of them because you could previously completely skip going into utility science in the standard way by making perfect samples. You used to be able to completely dodge having to make perfect samples. You can't do that anymore. So you will have to make all of these like BMPs and anti-tumors anyway in the late game may as well actually use them on your creatures now and they actually do something good great for your creatures because you no longer have to compete with cub raising they now work in tandem because you are you now make those anti-tumors and bmps out of standard creatures you are enhancing standard creature output with these things and you get your standard creatures through cub raising. So now it's like you're double dipping. You're getting the, the cub raising bonuses and you're getting the bonuses from the specializations. So it's like, okay, okay, I like these are these are good, wonderful changes that have been made with Pi Alien Life that will make the late game amazing. We just have to get there is the thing. We just have to get there. As you as you can probably tell, the scale of some of the early game stuff is uh is is a bit much. Is a bit much of some of the scale of the earlier game production lines. Uh but when I say that it will eventually that this will eventually become like this in terms of scale, just naturally through mark level upgrades through uh, of the buildings and of the creatures themselves, as well as better recipe access and improved, uh, like usage of them through using productivity later down lines. When this can become like really tiny because of that in the late game, e we begin to think, oh, hey, maybe it has to be this large at the beginning if the end is going to be tiny. Maybe. Maybe? I, I still want it to be half this, but whatever. We have what we have. It does get amazing by the late game. But uh, you have to get there first. You do have to get there first. And I hope that this has been a good introduction, overview of how Alien Life has changed. So just, just to reiterate with Alien Life, we now are always raising cubs on our non-plants fungi uh, or raising larvae or raising eggs. We are, we are raising a younger life stage into an adult life stage now uh, across the board at all phases of the game, just from the start to the end. It's no, it's not no longer an upgrade process that happens later. It is an integral part of raising creatures now. And, and you can now 
modify your creatures to give you an increased output of a specialized single output once you get into later phases of the game as a means of replacing cub raising, uh, the benefits of cub raising. So that's what I have to say about Pi Alien Life and the changes that have been made with the uh, that went along with the release of Pi Alternative Energy. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you've not yet subscribed, and the notification bell. Consider becoming a member of the channel by hitting the great big blue join button and supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash otakushowboat if you are so inclined and able. Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.